Hey there, so today we have another video and this is A, uh, me testing out a mic, so please post some comments below immediately, depending on how you feel about the quality of that. And then also um, about an update on GABF. So GABF uh, just released their results about a week ago, so unfortunately I'm a little bit behind, but um, this is like a just quick hot takes beer talk, you know, about uh, GABF results. If you don't already know about GABF, that's sort of like the Oscars uh, for beer. It's a uh, great American beer festival, it takes beer, uh, place in Denver. Um, Hundreds to thousands of breweries send in submissions of beers, um, one of the largest competitions throughout the year, and uh, arguably one of the most prestigious for breweries to send in thousands and thousands of um, submissions to have bl be blind judged on their styles. So, number one hot take. I was right. <laughs> uh, when I went to Denver, there's a little brewery called Comrade Brewing, and they uh, blew me away with this beer called Even More, uh, More Dodge, Less Ram, uh, an American double IPA. That got gold for American IPA. So, I knew it. I mean, I just... It, it, that beer was just so special. Like I tasted it, I was like, whoa, I haven't tasted an IPA this good in a long time. And I even dragged my friends to the bar to try it up against Pliny the Elder. And for me, that beer was even better than Pliny the Elder. Um, that beer was just so good. So it goes to show I'm not crazy. Uh, I don't know, maybe confirmation bias, I don't know. But it just feels really good that like literally weeks ago, I went to try this beer that was so freaking amazing, had it multiple times because it was that good. And then GABF, it gets a gold. Like, you know, makes it makes it feel like real that like I know what I'm talking about sometimes. Like. Wow, that beer is amazing. So, uh, what else do we have to talk about? Well, cool thing. Um, Orlando slash Central Florida is not necessarily like a world-class brewery city, but somehow we got two medals. Um, so, Dead Words got, <clears throat> sorry, gold for their American lager. Um, and then uh, Gatlin Hall Brewing got bronze for a Vienna lager. So, two breweries. Well, one brewery that I've checked out already. Both beers that I had not had, so I'll have to check those out. Very cool that Orlando got two uh, medals at GABF because, again, very hard to get medals. Like, uh, <laughs> there's thousands and thousands of submissions and... There's only, there's less than 100 categories, so there's something like less than 300 medals given, I want to say, something like that. And uh, out of thousands of submissions, I mean, that's rare, right? Uh, the other noticeable thing is that it's just a killer's row that I've noticed. Um, uh, what I noticed is that Craft Beer Brewing Magazine's podcast, they end up uh, having a lot of the breweries that are GABF medal winners on. You know, obviously, if you have your medal winning brewery, you probably don't have to do a couple things right in the brew house, so they end up interviewing those people, and then... You find out the results this year and repeat winners. You know, like uh, a lot of breweries, they, they just know the process of how to get a medal and brew to spec to get a medal and brew at quality of certain styles to get a medal. So um, shout out to, I have a sticker on my fridge, but I don't think you can see it. Um, I got to visit Cannonball Creek outside of, um, in Golden, Colorado. They've literally won a medal for 10 years in a row, which is absolutely insane. Like just to fathom that, like to submit beers and Every year, it, it, it you know it, it's when you look at the when you look at the uh, results like it, it, it's a combination of a crapshoot because there's so many breweries that you've never heard of and like local breweries that are just you know one and time, one and done like they make a great beer at that moment and the judges like it and they get a medal but then to able to repeat that process is just absolutely crazy and there's few breweries that just like year in and year out like you'll see the medal here and there and it's just absolutely crazy so that's awesome so shout out to Cannonball Creek shout out to our mutual friend. Um, uh, who else? My, oh, well, <laughs> there you go, another one. So it's sort of the opposite of how it's sort of a crapshoot. Allagash White, again, got gold for Vit Beer. So at World Beer Cup, they got bronze, and that was the only medal given. By the way, how it works is that judges can give just a bronze and say that, like, hey, no, we didn't feel anything was sufficient for a gold and silver. Everybody thought that was crazy. Obviously, at GABF, again, this is all blind. Blind, Allagash White gets gold again, which really defines the style. Like, um, this, by the way, Vit Beer was like a dead style in Belgium that was recreated by Pierre Ellis, who created Ho Garden decades and decades ago. But now Allagash has sort of taken the throne of like, hey, this is what the beer should taste like. And like Allagash White, despite, I, I, obviously, I, I would think brewers are trying to clone that, make a better recipe. They can't. <laughs> Allagash White, Vit Beer, he's winning. Uh, so it's pretty cool to see Vit Beer win again and Allagash White just crushes. If you like Vit Beer, you just got to drink Allagash White, I guess. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's, uh, just, oh, well, well, actually, this is, a, this is a really good take. Well, like, despite all this conversation, Audrey's got things to say about this, too, apparently. Um, <laughs> she's sitting right there. Um, what, what I have to say. So, just, despite all of this and all this talk about GAB, blah, 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 like, what does it actually mean? In the end, I would say objectively, it sort of means a lot of nothing. Like, it, it, it's, it's, a great example would be a brewery like mine. I worked for Santa Barbara Brewing. Two years ago, we got gold for barley wine. And that's actually like a cult favorite style if you would follow like Barley Wine is Life and stuff. Like you think like, oh my god, like we got gold for that. Like you think the geeky geeks would like 
hunt it or go crazy for it. I even posted on the group, and not that many people went crazy for it. Um, like, we had, like, very few bottles left of that beer, and it still lasted for a while. It's just, you know, and that's, that's already a niche style. And then, like, a, a good example, we like, have this. I went to our, our mutual friend when I was in Denver with my friends. My friends are certainly beer geeks. Like, if they're going out, they're most likely going to a brewery. They've been with me to, like, places like Hill Farmstead and Treehouse. And if they go to the beer bar, they're going to hunt down, like, hey, like, where's that Hill Farmstead beer? Where's that, like, cool Cantillon that you have available? Like, they're solidly, solidly, solidly beer geeks. And even then, when we went to our mutual friend, I was the only one that went up to the bar, like, hey, like, what GABF gold medal, or, like, what GABF medal winners do you have? Versus my friends didn't care. They just, like, looked at the menu and just ordered some beers, right? Like, there's so few people that care about, like, GABF. It's, like, unbelievable. It's, like, probably less than 1% of craft beer drinkers. So it's, like, what does it matter to a brewery? Well, honestly, then it becomes, like, sort of like a gold star in Caring Garden. It doesn't really mean anything. Like, sort of, <laughs> right? Isn't it ridiculous? A lot of people just don't care, and it doesn't really help the revenue of a brewery. So it's sort of like a, pr a pride thing for a brewer, which I honestly respect. Like, you know, if I had a brewery or I worked for a brewery, it'd be a huge sense of pride um, for staff, back house, front of house. But... Um, but for most people, no, people don't care. You guys post comments if you care, but it's sort of the hot takes. Um, despite all this talk, it's about metals that nobody cares about. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know what you think.